All right, hey there everybody, welcome to my channel. In this video, we're gonna be tackling the common household problem, the fallen shower rod. You know what I'm talking about. This thing just randomly falls down, maybe even hits you on the head. So I'll give you a couple of ideas on how we can fix this. This thing fell, and it's been up for about four years or so, so it did a pretty good job. But for some reason, the caulking that I had put on the end of it to act as an adhesive just kind of failed. If you are gonna use caulking, make sure it's paintable, not the silicone stuff. You might have problems painting the wall later if you use silicone. Anyway, this rod looks like this, and it kind of operates like this. If you turn the top little dial, it will extend. If you turn it counterclockwise, it will contract. Uh, so what we're going to do first is make sure the area is really clean, whether you're dealing with fresh kind of drywall or some damaged drywall from a previous attempt, like I am here. We're just going to want to clean that really well, get a light layer of just regular soap and some water, get all that grime and whatnot off of there before you put uh, up any adhesive. And we're going to clean the ends of the shower curtain rod. In this case, I've got a lot of drywall, like I said, that came off and some old caulking, paintable caulking that I had put up there to use as an adhesive before that had failed years later. So I'm just going to get all that stuff off and I'm even going to take some sandpaper and kind of rough it up a little bit. And I'll be using some super glue to try to fix this. Now I'll put a link in the description below for the super glue that I like to use. So check that out if you're interested. Um, it's pretty common stuff. I think it's like Gorilla Glue or something, um, but check that out and uh, we are going to be adhering that. Now, I don't really care if it damages the wall too much because I can just you know, put some patch and paint. Now, another idea for you, if you have a drywall anchor like this, you could possibly, if you're dealing with a hollow side of the dry, hollow drywall, meaning there's not a stud on the other end, take a little wooden dowel and make sure it fits nicely into that wall anchor. And you could actually tap in that wall anchor into the drywall and have that flush with the drywall and then take your little wooden dowel and have that kind of sticking in there halfway. And then you could come over here to your curtain rod and drill a hole nice and clean right through that. Um, there's a hole on the other side of it. If you rewind the video, you can see, oh, no, there's a shot right there. And the wooden dowel would kind of fit right in there. Now that would be more of a kind of a permanent, if you're really fed up with this and you don't ever want this thing coming down again, of course, if you move or whatnot, you can easily um, loosen it up just like this and um, take it down. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm very strongly, I'm not going to be drilling into the drywall. I'm just going to be reapplying some of that super glue, like I said, or applying that super glue. And I'm going to be um, using all my strength to kind of, um, and I just showed you that technique there to, to use, to kind of, you're going to press on both ends as hard as you can when, it, when it's loose, and then you'll tighten it up. Go back and press rewind if you wanted to see that kind of technique one more time. And then, um, like I said, put that super glue on there and it should hold it nice and firmly. Before the super glue dries, make sure you level that. Make sure it's uh, nice and straight for you. And that is pretty much it. Uh, so hopefully this video has helped you think about, you know, a couple of different ways you could solve this very annoying problem and you'll hopefully never have to do this again with some really quality super glue or a little anchor dowel system. Thanks so much. And for more videos like this, be sure to subscribe. Thanks.